So, we made a video of taking a look Windows Server 2022. Well, hey guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at Windows Server 2024. Let's explore the new security features, the Windows 11 based OS, and the preset wallpapers. So, let's get started. <laughs> But first, let's install Windows Server 2025 in my VM. First, let me share my first impressions of this server OS. We got new wallpapers. It looks like Windows 11 wallpaper with a blue power with a bloom. It seems slightly zoomed in, but it's nice. I liked it. I can feel like the the dots right here. I think it looks like the Azure servers. But yeah, this is definitely for the cores. I think for the CPU. And yeah, if you want this wallpaper, I'll provide a link in the description to download that wallpaper. The number two is improved security. In the Windows Server 2025 version, Microsoft has introduced three significant improvements to security. There are firmware protection, hardware trust, and security for virtual environments. Next is storage enhancements. Most of our storage devices uses NTFS, and this method can recover faster than before when a failure occurs. And Microsoft introduced the Azure for the Windows Server 2025. Yup, the improved version of it. Overall, I can barely use it. Alright, so... So this Server 2025 is actually pretty good, I guess, but... Yup, it does support the light mode, the dark mode, the wallpaper. So yeah, so this is what the server look like. 
we got to the settings application yeah by the way this is windows 11 feels like so yep it's 24h2 windows server and it's kind of pretty good operating system but yeah open explorer we got the tabs and well yeah it looked like a windows 11 but it's server edition but we got microsoft edge now instead of internet explorer which is outdated right now so we're gonna try internet explorer in the server unfortunately you cannot do that anymore because it's it's now removed by microsoft that's unfortunate then also um this is a classic application like the classic calculator application this is for the windows 7 edition uh, but I just like the, the the features of it, but yep, we got the classic calculator application, the classic Notepad. This is for the Windows. This is the Windows Seven version of Notepad. The one box is pretty the same. Um, oh, we got the classic Paint tool. That's kind of cool. Um, can say hi here. But, yep, the classic application on Windows Server because on modern version of Windows, it does support UWP apps. But this one does not have UWP apps except the settings application. Well, yeah, it's kind of kind of cool because of the, the replacement of the control panel. Well, control panel is still there. But, yep, it's still there. The sneaking tool on Windows 7 is still the same. Yep, this is the Windows 7 version. It, um, and we got the terminal. Windows terminal application. We just came by. And a command prompt is on a terminal. This is kind of nice because only improvements here is only the UWP apps on this system. But yeah, we can actually, the task manager is still the modern version. Yep, it's, yep, you can see the modern version of the task manager on here. And then we gotta decide a new logo because the new update is kindly releasing now. We got the SATA SSD. Um, but, so, yep. So it bypasses the system requirement, so this is a... A server that the task manager it looks a lot better even better if I won yep instead of classic task manager now we have this or the task manager on a CSWOW 64 thing um, let me take a look of it yep it's yep it's a lot Glad actually, a uh, Microsoft did not update this task manager for the x86 version, but yeah, it's definitely usable. Actually, um, yep. Next features is only the Arc Azure Arc thingy right here. It actually allows make the server a lot running better. Um, yep, it's it's a um. Azure Arc, which is actually the, the servers. Whatever, this is only just the server manager is not updated since the latest version. I wish I wish I had to update the server manager. So this one is only for Windows 8. Windows 8 UI, but. But yeah, I don't know why. This for the Windows 8 version. But as you see on earlier for the setup, it's now updated to to normally now. That's kind of cool. So we're using this program, Microsoft Azure here. Yep, there's a lot of configuration, so I don't want to set it up. And we got the most of the times. Well, we can put the admin center on here. But to make it to make it serve a lot better, I might disable search the task view. Yup, 
And yep, that's like that. This is the Windows Server 2022 build, feel like. Well, it's kind of cool, but but it actually makes it better to use, but yep. In Windows Server 2025, Microsoft hasn't announced the end of support cycle yet. However, I guess it will be around 2035, similar to the old versions like Windows Server 2022, which ends in 2031. But it might follow the same pattern, I'm not sure. Anyway, here comes the conclusion. The final impressions are it is usable Windows 11 based OS and updated 24H2 version. But I explained the security wallpapers, but I know this is a way to migrate to AI technology. Thanks for watching and click the like and subscribe and see you again for my next video. Peace.